Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am filming another haul. You know how excited I get every time I find makeup on sale, and this time is no different. I went shopping at the cosmetics company store, and then I got some stuff off of Amazon. I got some stuff from Walmart. So this is a hodgepodge. I have makeup, I have hair, I have clothes, probably got some nails in there. Y'all know I'm always picking up nails. But before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do lots of makeup, lots of hauls. I do tutorials, reviews. Did this look today, which will probably be up, I don't know, the order. Y'all know how <laughs> y'all know how I get behind with that, but this will also be up at some point if you like this look. So I'm not going to keep you waiting. If you want to see what I've picked up in my most recent collective haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so first we're going to start off. This is Marshall's, I didn't say that earlier, Amazon walmart just we got a little bit of everything i'm just pulling straight out of the bin because this is in no particular order so these are from amazon i believe because they were on sale i got this during prime day this is the lot of body coconut and shea oil foaming mousse i have been using this on my hair and also on my wigs i have really been loving using mousse to help lay down the front of my wigs for a glueless install. It gives it a little bit of tack to help it stick, but it's super easy to take off. And this one's not that sticky. Another one I have is stickier, but I've also been using this on my hair, sometimes just to tame flyaways. I need to try to use this when my hair is wet and see if it helps to give it more texture so when I curl my hair, it stays. I don't know. I've just been realizing that this is something good to use, not just on my curly wigs, but on my hair as well. And I picked up two of those because I think they were on sale for like $3. Up next, I picked up a hair dye and this I just grabbed from Walmart. I'm tired of seeing the grays. Some people are like, oh, just embrace it. It's not a big deal. But like my grades are actually worse on this side, so I always part my hair on this side. And I've been using like my Color Wild powder and all that other kind of stuff, but I feel like when I was dyeing my hair darker, it actually looked shinier and just looked healthier. So I wanna dye my hair again. I picked up the L'Oreal Paris Excellence Cream Triple Care Color. So it's good to cover grays. This is in shade number three, Natural Black. Now, I will say I've been going back to a hairdresser more frequently to try to just keep my hair healthy and to try to retain some of the length better. And I bought that and then I went to go see her for my most recent chop and she was like, you need to use a semi-permanent, don't use a permanent. I already bought that and I ain't wasting my money. So I'm probably still going to use it like later, but yeah. Yeah. That's that. So I'm really just doing it for the grays. But again, I also want the color because I feel like it just looks healthier. Next, I picked up a fragrance. This is the Versace Crystal Noir. I have several Versace fragrances. I have Dylan Purple, Dylan Turquoise, Dylan Blue. I'm looking at my, <laughs> my fragrances. I have Bright Crystal. Um, and then I have a more intense version of Bright Crystal. Absolutely love that one. That one's the pink one. I have a small one of the yellow one. That one's okay. I think that's all of them. But this was at TJ Maxx and it was on sale for $60. It was a blind buy, but I read the notes and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to like this just based on the notes. And it was normally $85, I think I saw at Ulta. I went to Ulta to try to smell it first and they didn't have a tester. So yeah, this one was $85 for the 1.7 fluid ounces. And I think this looks so cute. Like I just love the packaging and the color. That's why I love my other ones. And this one is a floral. It says it's an oriental floral, which 
I think is the same as my Ellis Brooklyn Sci-Fi is also an Oriental floral. So I was like, okay, kind of familiar with that. Read the notes. It said black currant, black fig, violet. Middle is tuberose, frangipani, and jasmine. Base, sandalwood, cashmerian, cashmerian, vanilla pod, and heliotropine. I don't know what some of those are, but some of them sounded familiar. So I was like, mm, this could be a safe blind buy. This is a... This is more of a unisex slash cologne, men's fragrance. I wore it and the more I wore it, like it smells good, but I was just like, this is not me. So it smells good. If you're looking for something for your partner who loves more masculine fragrances, but yes. Also picked up from Amazon. This is the Cream of Nature Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I feel like once this came in, I was like, why did you order this? Like, have you tried this before? I feel like I have, but it says I've been trying to find more products that will help with shine. I don't know, y'all. I go through these phases <laughs> where I'm like, this doesn't look as good. This doesn't look as good. This is not shiny. This is not moisturizing enough, whatever. So right now I'm on a shine kick and I feel like my hair is not shiny enough. So... This says no drying alcohol, no mineral oil, and no petrolatum, but you have to shake it to activate it. So it's just going to be a leave-in conditioner, but I also bought this during Prime Day. Okay, these next products I got from Amazon, and I'm going to talk about all these together because I saw them advertised together, and I like to buy stuff together. This is a holographic gel polish that you have to use with your UV lamp because I'm wearing olive green a nail polish that I thought would last through the weekend and I did not have a olive green I don't know I saw the colors and I liked it I feel like I didn't have olive green like nails I wanted to press on although I just bought some last night um, so I have options now but I picked a purple and I picked a green these were like six dollars or something like that you can't really see the shades that much. Of course, I had to get a purple. I'll insert pictures so you can see what they look like. But this is what it looks like on... You can't really see the holographic. I feel like it's not going to show as much as they did on the pictures. I hope I'm wrong, but that's just my first impressions. And then I also bought this base coat, top coat, and then there's a matte top coat in here as well. When I looked at the pictures, it showed the difference between if you use a white base coat or a light one versus a dark one. And the dark one made the color look a little more saturated and I want an olive green shade. So I don't think I thought that through whenever I bought this because I wanted a dark base coat and I don't think I got that. Let's open this and see. No, it's just clear. So... I'm probably going to try this when I get back because if it doesn't work or turn out the way I want, I don't want to damage my nails trying to pull it off and use something else. So I'm going to see when my other nails come in this week, what I'm going to wear for my competition. I have to keep it short because I have to deadlift. I don't want it in the way, but I got to do my nails. Next from Walmart, I picked up the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I picked mine up in the shade 355, which I think was coconut. I don't know if it says it on here or not, but I picked this up because I saw a freaking TikTok where somebody was like, this is waterproof and it's so good coverage and all this stuff. And I was just like, I have to try it. I have tried this on. It does give really good coverage. Very surprising. I love the finish of it. It does look like it has like, oh, y'all probably not going to be able to see this, but it almost looks like it has like glitter or shimmer yeah you can see it right there um shimmer in it but it doesn't look like that on the skin and i feel like it's kind of given the same based on the description i've heard the same type of finish maybe not finish but the same look as the makeup by mario because it also was said to have glitter and shimmer i don't know but i don't feel like this is waterproof because i wore it to the gym Maybe I need to put it on my hand. I'm going to put it on my hand without primer or anything else to see. But with the other products I had on my face, it did transfer a little bit. But for what this is and how inexpensive it was, I was very surprised and I liked how it came out. So I'm going to wear this on camera, show you guys what it looks like. But that was just kind of my first impression. 
I guess I can give you a little swatch real quick. I picked up this one and a darker shade, and I do feel like this shade is even still a little too dark for me, but the other shade was way too dark. Like, just look how that spreads out, and you can see it definitely has some coverage. So, I don't know. I need to back up, sit up. I don't know what's happening. I want y'all to be able to see how that dries down. But yeah, initially when I tried it on, I was like, okay, I can wear this. And using my foundation brush, when it blends out, like y'all know I can finesse it. I can make it work. So that's what that looks like for any of my shade twins. This is again, shade 355. Also from Walmart, I picked up this Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. I picked this up because this shade is so gorgeous. It is very cool toned, very nude, not pink. <laughs> it is more of a beige shade. And I feel like when I've been doing my makeup lately, I've been kind of looking for shades like this. And I wanted to have a drugstore option because I do have my Sephora one. I think it's called 2XL. It's a plumping lip gloss. So I just wanted to have a drugstore option and Milani is easy to get and they also always have sales on their website. I guess I can go ahead and open this one. Let's try her on. This is what it looks like. So it is very opaque. Yeah, that is what I wanted. Ooh, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. And this smells very minty. I'll just blend that out a little bit. Yeah, so if you like nudes that are kind of like that milky, thick, give you some payoff, Milani's a great brand, love their lip products. So definitely think this was worth picking up. I also got this from Walmart and I was really surprised. This is the Hard Candy Instant Pout Lip Melt. So, I currently have in my cart getting ready for the Sephora sale the makeup by Mario lip plumping I don't know the name of them but this I saw this and I was like why does that look like that it is probably the same thing and I want to get one of the makeup by Mario ones to compare them but this was like three dollars like super inexpensive it is very glossy you have to be careful because with this packaging when you twist it up it stays up you can't twist it back down but this, of course, I have tried this. I had to get like a nude brown shade. But it doesn't really give a lot of color. It's just shine. This is my lips, but better. A little bit of brown to it, but not a lot. So I'm going to compare it to Makeup by Mario and let y'all know my thoughts. But how awesome would that be to find a dupe at a fraction of the cost? I picked up a blush from Walmart. This is the Uoma Beauty by Sharon C. Blush in Flawless in Real Life. Oh, Flawless in Real Life Blush. The shade is Audacity. So I thought this was a cream and I was like, ooh, love this shade. Let's pick it up. And then got home, opened it because I was just dying to try it. And it is, but it's like, I don't know. It's not shimmery i really don't know how to explain make sure i don't have nothing else the texture of this like it has a little bit of a sheen to it but it's not shiny and i don't know i just felt like this would probably be super blurring on the skin i already have enough blush on right now so i'm not gonna put it on but i thought the shade was gorgeous i think it'll be perfect for every day and i was just really intrigued by the formula of this and again, also very inexpensive at Walmart. I found a set of nails at Walmart. This is the, of course, Kiss Impress Press On Nails. This one was something I hadn't seen before. Let it flow. These are a blue and they are so pretty, especially that top kind of marble effect that it has going on. Like, y'all know me, anything that looks like it would be hard to do painting or would take a lot of time at the salon. I'm gonna get it in a press on. So this was just something different that I hadn't seen. And anytime I find them, especially in short, I'm gonna pick them up. From Target, I picked up another SD card. I currently have three. This was on sale for $24. These things can be really expensive. And normally I will leave footage on here, 
because I don't want to bog down my laptop transferring the files and then edit something and then try to have it saved to my laptop and I don't have space and whatever. So I've had the same cards pretty much since I started doing YouTube and I was just like, I need to get another one when I can find it on sale because if something happens, I'm going to be SOL. The irony, last night I put two of my cards, a 64 gig, this one is 128. One of the 64s, I only have 164 and then I have three now 128s. I put the 64 and one of my 128s in my pocket to bring upstairs and told myself, don't leave this in your pocket because you're going to wash it. And I left it in my pocket and washed it. I did film this look <laughs> on the 64 because I was like, if it doesn't come out, I'll be okay if the card is messed up. Seems like it's working, but now I'm like, I'm glad I got another one just in case one of those decide to go out. The rest of this stuff is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is from Marshalls. This is another press on nail set. This is in the medium length. I have had these before. It has a purple ombre. Love the color. So I was like, yep, I will pick up a backup for $5. These are normally, I think $9.99 for this type of design. I picked up, which I probably shouldn't have, but honestly, y'all, the price got me. This is Marshalls. The This is from Marshalls. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I have this already. And I remember the first time I used it, I was like, wow, this is actually really good. And then I saw that they had a bunch of them at Marshalls for eight bucks. So I was like, maybe I should go back to using the other one. And now I have a backup. I also picked up one of the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her, Lord, I can't read this, Pout Drip Hydrating Lip Oil. I can't remember if people said these were good or not, but it was $6 and I wear lip oils and like, light glosses more than I wear full lipsticks now just because I haven't been going a lot of places. This is in the shade Bronze Pop. And again, very easy to wear everyday kind of neutral shade. I hadn't tried any of her lip oils, so I felt like, of course, getting it on sale is the best time to try it. Stuff like this is hard to get though. Um, where are we gonna put you up here? Yeah, very shiny, kind of thick too, surprisingly. You gotta be careful when you buy this stuff from Marshalls or TJ Maxx though, because people will open them and swatch them. And then you get home and you have something somebody's used already. So I always open stuff and I look at it. And when I get glosses or any kind of liquid lip product, I will open it and I will just barely pull this out. And if you can look at the inside of the cap and see that there is any kind of anything on the inside of that where it looks like oh it's been pulled out and this has gotten on the sides or something like that then you know somebody's used it so just a good kind of rule of thumb to try if you're buying stuff like this from those stores check it and make sure it hasn't been used i also found one of her concealers this is the perfecting concealer in the shade tan red i also did the same thing with this i opened it made sure it had not been used because ain't nobody got time to be getting no kind of infection on their face because somebody dirty put this on. I will say I feel like this shade is light, but it's okay. This packaging is kind of reminding me of like the old Kylie Cosmetics, which I used to love. This was not opened. I double checked that. Swatch on this side. That might not be too bad. It's light, but I think I can make that work pretty easy. And I do like that it has more of a peachy undertone because this will be really good for color correcting. So I feel like I didn't see good reviews on this. Let me know if y'all have used this, what you think about it. Again, I got this for, I don't know if I said already, $6. So I felt like for that price, it's worth trying it. If I don't like it, I didn't spend regular price. I think these were around 25, 30 bucks. I found an eyeshadow palette that I felt like I needed to have. I've been curious about this brand. This is Zoeva. I feel like they used to be super popular when I first got into watching YouTube and then nobody talks about them anymore. And I was just like, eh, I've seen some palettes from them that are kind of cute, but nothing that just really stood out to me that made me feel like I need to have that palette. But this one is a gorgeous neutral 
It's called Together We Grow. And I was just like, you know what? This really reminds me of like the packaging from my Laura Lee Los Angeles and the KKW. Like to say this was a $7 palette, I don't know about the quality. I just feel like the way this looks, if you wouldn't have told me this was not KKW, like one of her palettes, her old packaging, I wouldn't have known. So I don't know if people still check for this brand. I know that it is normally pretty inexpensive. So this was seven bucks. Color story, something I could wear every day. Oof, dropped it. So I feel like it would be good to try. I got another eyeshadow palette. This was kind of on a whim. This is the Violet Voss Matte Vibes Eyeshadow Palette. This was $8. I do not have a lot of all matte eyeshadow palettes. And before, I would not do a makeup look if I didn't have a shimmer. Like, I felt like I had to have it. But when I'm getting ready for work or just want something quick, throw on a face to go to the gym, I'm throwing a matte in my crease, maybe a little bit on the lid if I want a little bit more of a pop, and I'm gone. So I was like, you know what? I've been really loving stuff I've been finding from this brand. And again, $8, you can't pass it up. I just thought, even though this is messy, it was not swatched. But this kind of reminds me of, y'all remember Meat Matte? Was it Meat Matte Nudes? Something like that. One of those, was it the Balm? This is kind of what this reminds me of, except a little bit warmer. And I feel like literally any of these, minus the red or the warmest shade in the middle, and that one. Take those out. <laughs> Every day, in the crease, in the crease, in the crease. Like, super easy. Definer, definer, on the lid. I thought this was really pretty. So for eight bucks, yeah, I'm going to need to add it to my collection. I also found two lip products. One, this, I haven't tried. I haven't. I haven't bought. I've swatched and like looked at it in the store, but I haven't tried any of the Gwen Stefani Give products and I've seen them in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This was $7. This is one of her Original Me High Performance Matte Lipsticks. I picked this up because I thought it was the most gorgeous nude shade and I checked this one. It has not been swatched, but it looks like somebody opened it and left the top of it up. So the top of the bullet is kind of messed up, but it just doesn't have the point on it, but it hadn't been used. So I decided to get it anyway, but I just thought, oh, that shade. That felt so creamy. And I think that shade is so pretty. It definitely looks like a nude, not really taupey, cause it's not that dark or not that cool, but it is more on the cool, now it's looking a little red. I feel like when I swatched it in the store, it looked more nude. Either way, gorgeous shade. I wanted to try it out. Last but not least, if I see Pat McGrath and it's something I don't have or think I'm going to like, I'm going to pick it up. I found one of her Satin Allure lipsticks. This is the shade 651 in the flesh. I don't know if this was like, this was $15. I know these normally range $30, if not more, but I just thought packaging is cute. Is this a nude? No, this, that's what it was. This is almost like a brown. So it's a darker nude, but this kind of reminds me of, is it in the flesh? Flesh six. One of her other, like she has a liquid lipstick. Oh yeah, that shade is so pretty. And it's a satin, so you can see the difference in those two shades. Um, but yeah, she has a shade called Flesh 6, I think it is. And I love that shade, so I was like, ooh, they have it in a lipstick. It's Pat McGrath. It's on sale. You ain't got to twist my arm. I want it. Casually walking through Kohl's to return some stuff for Amazon. And there's Sephora in Kohl's now instead of JCPenney. And they had stuff on sale. So I was like, let me just go look. And of course, I bought some stuff. This is the Briogeo Be Well Organic and Australian Tea Tree Oil. Tea Tree Oil is really good for if you have itchy scalp, 
and if your skin is dry, so it's not just on your hair, you can use it on your body too, but I bought this for my hair. I love the brand Briogeo, and I didn't even know they had this. Let's put okay, my receipts in here. This was either $13 or $16, $180. This one was $16. So it looks very similar to the packaging of their Don't Despair Repair Oil, but I do, okay, so y'all help me. If you are anything, know anything about hair, why is it, and is it just me, when I use a hair oil, it does not matter what type of hair oil, if I put it directly on my scalp, if not by that night, the next day, my scalp is so itchy and it doesn't matter what type of oil it is. Is this normal? I feel like it shouldn't be, but it happens every time. No matter what type of oil I use, I have one with peppermint oil. Maybe you're not supposed to put it directly on your scalp, but like I always see videos, nourish your scalp, put a couple drops. Maybe I'm using too much. Comment and let me know if that's something you deal with. I'm going to see if that one's any different because it has the tea tree oil and it's made for dry, itchy scalp and skin. But y'all let me know because I'm at the point where I have all these hair oils and I'm just not using them. This is also from Briogeo. This is their organic and cold press 100% castor oil. It says this is for hair, brows, lashes, and skin. I did get this for my eyebrows. I've been trying to grow them out and I'm pretty happy with how they look except for on the tail. So I did want to use it for that. And then also because it says that you can use it on your lashes too. It comes with a little pump so you can put it on a Q-tip and then just apply it where you want it. But I know castor oil is supposed to be really good for hair growth and I've never tried just that by itself. This was $13. So again, why not? I picked up a set of tw a pair of tweezers. This is the Tweezerman Pink Perfection Slant Tweezer. I always get the slant ones. I feel like those are the easiest to use on my hair and on my wigs. This was $18, really? Yeah, I guess it was. I know these are expensive. It had it, the regular price of this was $24. So I think this was just kind of one of those splurge things because I do like using these. This brand I will use for my eyebrows. And then I also have some cheaper ones that I'll use for my wigs, but I don't know, it was on sale. Yeah, they got me. And then last but not least, I picked up this Edge Control gel -A from Gen T J uh, Dry Bar. It's Gen Twist Edge Control gel -A. This says it helps to smooth edges and tame baby hairs. I have been using edge control on my hair lately. And oh, this is definitely a gel. Oh, and that's on my nose. This smells good though. Um, the ones that I normally have are like more, I'm just screwing this up, more of a solid versus this actually looks kind of sticky. I don't know if you can see that. But I feel like this isn't as thick as some of the other ones I've used. I should have did this earlier. But I don't like the ones that like make your hair like matted to your head. I just want something to control it a little bit. Maybe add a little shine. This smells good. And it was $26 and it was on sale for $10.40. So... Definitely putting this one in my bathroom and we'll be using it on my natural hair. I'm going to jump into some clothes real quick. I don't normally do this, but I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing when I do purchase clothes, which is not a lot. I hate shopping for clothes. These stores do not cater to women's bodies with muscle. So I always have to buy stuff that stretches and honestly, it just frustrates me to go shopping. So if I find a brand that I know works for my body type, I just stick to the same stuff, but I'm trying to branch out, try different fashion stuff. So we got a different, a little bit of a hodgepodge. While I was at the cosmetics company store in the outlets, I went into the Nike store because I had a coupon and decided to pick up this hat. I just wanted another black hat. I sometimes wear a hat to the gym and I just thought this one was cute and I ended up paying like 10 bucks for it. It was pretty inexpensive. 
um, regular price was $22 and then I had a coupon and everything else. I was about to spend $20 on Amazon, so I'm really glad that I didn't, but this says it's a unisex, one size, and it's light. My other one's pretty faded, so I just wanted one to be able to replace that one when I get tired of wearing it. I was pretty excited about this, nervous but excited. I have been seeing so many videos about DH Gate and how people are bougie on a budget and luxury items and all this stuff. And I was like, what is the deal? So I decided to bite the bullet and I placed an order. I saw somebody posted a video, a YouTube video talking about Nike Dunks. And I have the high top pairs. I have two, I think. Um, but I don't have any of the lows and I feel like that's kind of what's been trending. I saw these and thought super duper cute. This is like a mauve kind of neutral tan almost. So I thought this would be perfect for like that clean girl aesthetic. And I had some shirts already this color. So I was like, let me just go ahead and see. These actually look pretty good. I sent them, so I have a really good friend. I call him twin, like my little big brother. Um, he is deep in the shoe game. Like that's my plug if I want something. And I was like, all right, twin, let me tell you what I did. This is what I got. I'm gonna send you a video of these and tell me what you think because I don't have dunks. He said that the only thing that he could see that made them look like they weren't legit um, is that this Nike on the back looks like it's slanted and the normal dunks don't look like that. But if you that close to me, mind your business. Like I have, <laughs> I have shoes that cost a lot and I have shoes that don't. And I feel like it doesn't matter. Like if I'm going to wear them, I buy my shoes to wear. So I paid $20 for these shoes. That is it. Y'all know a dunk, a pair of dunks cost a hundred, 110, 120, $20 for these. You had to pay $20 for shipping. But I got another pair too, and both of them ended up costing me like around $90 with taxes. I knew I wanted the olive ones, so I didn't want to pay $110. Because again, didn't know if I was going to like them, how they were going to fit. I will say that these run small. I got my normal size 8 in women's. And are these kids? No, these are women's. So these are size 8. And... These fit tight. I'm going to have to wear thin socks, but I feel like my other dunks also run tight and I should have remembered that. But honestly, I'm not mad because I feel like when I wear lows, they make my feet look big. And since these run small, they look small and I think these are cute. So yeah, the crazy thing is though, they sent a pair of socks with it, which I'm never going to wear these, but whatever. They literally try to do everything they can to make these things look legit down to... If I can find it. Yo, they put a Stock X tag in here. Like these actually came from Stock X and have been verified that they are the real thing. This came with both of them. So I guess that's how they say people have been selling fakes on Stock X and like getting away with it because if this comes with it, I can, who says I can't say this is a real pair of dunks, sell it for $80 and then I didn't pay for both pairs of my shoes. Like I wouldn't do that, but that's, you gotta be more careful. That's all I'm gonna say. So I got, I mean the box, like it came messed up how they shipped it, but who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. For clothing, I picked up this shirt and I think it is so cute. This I actually got from Amazon. It has this little cutout on the chest, but I liked it because I feel like it's still gonna cover your bra straps on the side. Super stretchy, kind of long, which I prefer for my shirts because most of the time I'm in skinny jeans or jeggings. Um, but I got this shirt because I also found the same shirt at Target. The Target shirt was also $22, so same price. The Target shirt fits, it runs a little bigger, but I wanted to get a light one to be able to wear with my dunks. Um, this one actually seems like it's a little wider, a little more boxy, but you can see the cutout on there as well. So same price, but this one just feels thicker and this one feels like more spandex kind of stretchy. So I didn't even realize that 
they would have damn near the same exact thing on Amazon as they have in Target. The quality is just a little different, but honestly, I think I prefer the one that I found on Amazon. I think. I don't know. I got to try them on and see, but both of these shirts were around 20 bucks. Another shirt. Oh, I was like, did I buy the same thing? Now, this one I also got from Target. This one feels very similar to the one that I got from Amazon in terms of the fabric and the stretch. But I don't wear a lot of white because I'm literally a five-year-old and I always get stains on everything. This was $16 and it looks like it'll be see-through. So I'll probably have to wear a shirt underneath. But again, looking for something to wear with the dunks. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a white shirt because I'm probably going to have to replace it. If you notice a trend, all my stuff has to stretch because my shoulders, my arms, they're not going to fit if it's something that doesn't have stretch. So also found this shirt super cute this is from target as well and this was ten dollars so it's just a short sleeve cream shirt i feel like this would be really cute to wear with like some camo pants with my dunks or um with blue jeans i also have the nike jordan praline ones i feel like you could kind of pull it off with these and some jeans so just trying to I love the clean girl look, the aesthetic of like the light tans and neutral shades. I just don't have a lot of those colors. I tend to wear a lot of black. So again, trying to branch out. I also got this shirt thinking about my Nikes, my Praline Jordans that I got. So again, just something a little different. This I found, is this Walmart? This is Walmart. So got this to wear with the dunks. It's just a kind of boat neck, square neck shirt. This was like $5. I love Walmart. Olive green. I have several olive green shirts, but I'm always going to find another one. If it's inexpensive, I'm going to pick it up. This one I believe is from, yeah, Walmart as well. I've been seeing people, people always post pictures and like looks from Walmart. And I'm like, where did you find that? And how did you put that together? This, again, I have to do stretchy. This one is long as well. I thought this was going to match. Can you pull that off together? Maybe. I don't know. I thought it was going to be close enough. It might still be. I do what I want. But that's why I got this shirt. Because I feel like it's a kind of neutral kind of rust red orange shade and I thought it would look good with the dunks and then I also found this black shirt at Marshall's it was ten dollars it's just a v-neck t-shirt can never have too many of those I thought this shirt was super cute I found this on Amazon this is just a let me try to button this back real quick but it is a kind of a halter not a halter I don't know what you call these that go around the neck like this but I love having my shoulders and my traps out I work really hard and so I thought that the neck on this was really cute just how it has that little pleat so you could dress it up and I felt like this would be cute to wear with my Nikes your girl is always in tennis shoes if I can help it I did get two bottoms. I tend to just wear like I said the same pants that I know fit and then just try to change out my tops a lot these are from where did i get this from why well, i feel like this was ross or something because i don't see tj maxx or marshall's either ross or burlington but this is kinsey jeans back up a little bit i feel like this was ross but these are a pair of i say khakis if you know the material i'm talking about but they're stretchy and it's these are a size eight I'm in between an 8 and a 10 when I was being ridiculous with my food. I was a 12, but I just like that these have the straight bottom instead of all the other pants that I have that have the jegging kind of skinny jean look. And I feel like these would look really good with the dunks. So you see an outfit there with one of the white shirts. These were 20 bucks. And then I also, last of the clothing, found these really cute sweats. And they are very thick. I feel like they will be very warm. I got these in a large, I believe. Yeah, these were in the junior section. These are from Walmart, $13. They had a 
hoodie kind of top that went with them but I didn't I decided not to get that but I felt like these would also be really cute with the dunks and I feel like I see a lot of people who wear like sweat suit coordinate kind of items and it just looks good casual but put together so I feel like that is what I was thinking I was gonna go for with these so that is it oh no hold on we got one more pair of shoes. I thought these were so cute and I do not have any booties this color. But again, clean girl look with that tan neutral aesthetic. These were on sale for $18.69. And I just thought these are the cutest little booties to be able to wear with skinny jeans or whatever. So cute little pair there. All right, last but not least, we're gonna finish with what I got from the cosmetics company store. And you guys like to hear the prices, so I have my receipt. This, I'm gonna start with this fragrance. This is the Jo Malone Silk Blossom Cologne. I have this and love this in my diffuser scent. And I don't know why, I just never thought about getting the perfume. And then I smelled it at the store and I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. So it does smell very floral. I do smell a hint of a rose, but it is just, I feel like the most soft feminine fragrance. I don't think, I don't know why I feel like there's a tad bit of a musk underneath that to where it's not too sweet, but it just, I think it smells so good. I paid $75 for this. So it was 50% off regular $150. I also picked up this Too Faced Makeup Insurance Longwear Setting Spray and Blue Light Defense. I did not know that they had a longwear setting spray. And so, of course, I love trying new setting sprays. I don't think I sprayed my face today, so we're going to do that right now. Let's check this sprayer. Mm, not bad. Oh, that smells very coconut. That smells very coconut. It says, help defend your skin against blue light damage with a setting spray that immediately locks down your makeup and sets it for 18 hours. Helps to keep it transfer resistant while refreshing and hydrating. Interesting. Blend of antioxidants, green tea extract, and algae extract. It smells like vacation in a bottle. Yes, it does. I honestly thought because of the little shaker sounding thing that's in there that maybe this would have sunscreen in it because I've had that with some of my other ones, but it does not. So I don't know. I just, I hadn't tried this and I don't think, I have a setting spray from Too Faced. I don't remember, to be honest. So this was new to me, decided to grab it. That was $17. So all this stuff was 50% off. Next, I picked up a lip gloss from Smashbox. This is the Gloss Angeles Gloss in 72 and Honey. I just thought this was a very pretty nude shade. Probably not going to show if I try to put it on right now. I did check it to make sure it hadn't been used, but just a very gorgeous everyday shade. And I like the Smashbox lip glosses. I don't hear a lot of people talking about them, but I feel like the formula's good. Mm, I feel like that smells interesting. I feel like most lip glosses kind of have like that cupcake vanilla kind of smell. This smells like makeup, like chemicals. Also could be old. <laughs> I hope not, but that's that's what it's giving. Next, I picked up a MAC blush. Oh, wait, how much was the gloss? This gloss was $12.50. I picked up this MAC Glow Play blush in Cherry Tree. This was $16.50. And I need to open it to remember why I felt like I needed to have this because I have not bought a MAC blush in a minute. I used to love them. I still have some in my collection from when I first started buying makeup. Why can't I get this out? This is something that's not gonna go back in the box. Y'all, I can't get this out. Is this a powder? Oh, okay, now I remember. First of all, look at that. <laughs> I was like, why did I buy this? Is it a cream? Yes, and it's a cream. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, so it's kind of like a putty, but just thought the shade was pretty. 
different formula from what I'm used to seeing from MAC, although I haven't bought blushes from them in a while. So I feel like for like that super pinky everybody's been doing, I thought this was a gorgeous shade. So glad I picked this one up. I picked up two liners. This is from Too Faced and this is their killer liner. I picked up Killer Turquoise and Killer Queen. Both of these were $12.50 each. One's a purple, one's a turquoise. Pretty self-explanatory. I, I bought their, was it cashmere? Like their white one. And I really, really like that one. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a couple more of these. Don't love that you have to sharpen them, but I love the formula of these. And these are supposed to be like 36 hour waterproof, all that good stuff. I should have got the olive green one because that probably would have looked so good with my makeup for the competition. But I just, I swatched these two in the store and I was like, oh, look at that. Look at that pop. That is absolutely gorgeous. This makes me want to get more of them, but I don't wear colored liner enough to try to be getting like a whole collection of something. So I tried to just pick colors that I thought I was really going to love and might actually wear. I also picked up a Too Faced Brush On Hair Fluffy Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I have gotten to the point to where sometimes on my gym days, I will just wear this, like wear a brow gel in my brows and not actually fill them in. I wanna see what this looks like. Um, so I wanted something that would help fill them in a little bit and add a little more volume to them, especially in the front. And then I wouldn't have to do so much whenever I go to the gym because I feel like no matter what, I'm gonna put brows on. So this was $12.50 as well. I also picked up some more of my Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing balms. I didn't realize when I picked these up, but this is actually the charcoal cleansing balm. So this one is supposed to be really good if you have oily skin, which I don't really have, but I feel like during the summer, I could get away with using this. These are normally, oh, these are $38. I feel like these are normally $30. But these were also, these were 60% off. So I paid $15.20 for both of them. And I grabbed two because they were 60% off. And I literally, every time I take my makeup off, I'm using a cleansing balm of some sort as the first step to get most of the makeup off. I picked up a MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. Now I had never seen these before. This is in the shade All Star Anise. And I honestly was just intrigued by the packaging. And I think this color is so gorgeous. So I feel like this is something that you could get away with wearing every day. I would still put on a lip liner, but I feel like this would be a very easy product to apply on the go. So this is gonna go in my purse, but there wasn't anything about it that I was just like, oh my God, I have to have this. I just, I saw the color and it was something new and I was like, yep, we're gonna go for it. That was $28, so it was on sale for 14. I also picked up a brush. This is from Smashbox and this is their Cream Cheek Blush. I do not have a lot of brushes that are specifically for cream products. And since I've gotten into wearing more cream products, I felt like, why not go ahead and get it? This brush is really small and it's not very dense, but it definitely is a lot more firm than like, this is my other blush brush that I used for cream as well today. This is from Wet n Wild. It was a dollar, I think. This is definitely more dense than that. Also very small, so I could see more of a precise application, but I don't normally buy high-end brushes. So of course, if I can get it on sale, that is gonna be the time to do it. And I'm trying to find this to tell you how much it was. Brush, $32, so $16 on sale for 50% off. I think this is the same thing that I had been wanting to try. This is the Max Stack Infinite Build Volume and Lengthening Mascara. I feel like if this is the same one that I'm thinking it is, when this first came out, this 
was sold out so quick and everybody was talking about how great it was. But I don't know why I feel like I remember like it was like two pieces to it. I don't know. Anyway, I was happy to see this in there. I'm not opening this right now. It's in black and it was $28 on sale for $14. But if this is what I'm thinking it was, I have been wanting to try this. So I was glad to get it at 50% off. Last but not least, y'all, all this stuff, they had this in a bundle and I ended up paying like $75 for it. They, I don't know how they ended up ringing it up. They rang them all up separate. Basically, they discounted each thing to make the total of it 75. So I'm going to see if I can figure out. Let's see. Okay, so this is the Estee Lauder Micro Essence Skin Activating Treatment Lotion. This is $110. $10 is what I paid for it. Y'all know how I am about skincare. I love me some high-end skincare, but I don't love me some high-end skincare prices. So $110. This is basically a toner. I don't even understand. Yeah, this is literally a toner and it's supposed to help renew, revive, hydrate, all those things. But $110, I'm glad <laughs> I got it for 10 this is also by Estee Lauder, the Soft Clean Infusion Hydrating Essence Lotion, Amino Acid and Water Lily. This is ideal for dry skin after applying, after cleansing, apply with your hands or a cotton pad, follow with a serum or a moisturizer. This was $42, also got this for 10. So again, kind of like a toner. Then this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is combination to oily skin. I know I used this before when I had oily skin, but it's been a long time since I had it. This is $32.50, also for $10. Okay, so this was $69. Yeah, $69 for the whole thing. And these were all marked down to $10, and then there was a fragrance in here as well. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrator. I absolutely love this. I've used it before. This is a small size of it, I believe. $17, they charge 10. This is the Repair Wear Laser Focus by Clinique. This is an eye cream. This is normally $55, got it for 10. And then I was excited to get this because I've used it before and I love it. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler. I love this. I have had it before. I'm pretty sure I have it already, but this does really well with helping to kind of puff and smooth, like plump up your under eyes so your fine lines aren't as bad. This is $38, got this for 10. And then last in here, it's a lot of stuff. This is the Clinique Happy Perfume, $54. This was on sale for $19. I think the lady let me smell it. I've not had any Clinique fragrances, but I feel like this was kind of just lanyap, like extra with all the other stuff that I bought. It says this is a, a hint of citrus and a wealth of flowers. So let's see what she smells like. This is literally giving me, this is reminding me of high school. It smells good, don't get me wrong. I like how this smells, but it smells like something I would've worn in high school. So I'll still wear it. It'll be more just like a, this would be like a gym fragrance or running errands fragrance versus like going out on a date or something like that. I feel like I've been talking a lot, but that is it for this haul. Your girl has had some stuff stacked up that I was waiting for everything to come in and show you. There is more. So, <laughs> so I will have more videos coming with some stuff that I hauled, but that is it for this one. Comment and let me know if you have any of these, what your thoughts are about them. If there's anything you want to see me try on, you know, I love hearing from you. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed the video and decided to join the family. And I will see you guys in my next videos. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. Bye.